A shock in Wisconsin's political world. Wisconsin State Representative Bob Gannon died unexpectedly yesterday. He was only 58 years old. Gannon represented West Bend. He was first elected in 2014. Ben Jordan joins us with more on this story. Carol, the Washington County Sheriff's Office says Bob Gannon was found dead of natural causes in his truck near his home last night. Word has spread quickly throughout the West Bend community and it's hitting hard for those who knew him. Unexpected. Uh, no one anticipated this. West Bend Mayor Craig Sidonico says his phone started blowing up this morning, all with tragic news of the passing of Bob Gannon. I just met with Bob last week. Gannon, known as a state representative to most, but for Sidonico, a friend of more than 20 years. Today, the West Bend community lost more than our assemblyman. We lost a heck of a guy. Gannon was first elected to the state assembly back in 2014, representing West Bend's district. Mayor Sidonico calls him a strong conservative. And he certainly did not go to Madison. Uh, to be a t typical politician. He went to do good things. Before his time in Madison, Gannon was a proponent of Act 10, which changed the way teachers could negotiate contracts. He was an outspoken Second Amendment supporter on the assembly floor. Bob had the rare ability to say exactly what was on everyone else's mind. Um, it, it doesn't happen with everybody. He wore his emotions and his feelings on his sleeve. Aside from his short political career, Six. Gannon was a businessman, most recently the president of Richards Insurance, all while balancing volunteer work and family life at home. Maybe that's a good lesson for us all, is to enjoy the days that we've got. And I reached out to the Wisconsin Elections Commission to find out what's next for the pro process of replacing Gannon in District 58. I was told the governor may call for a special election. Live in the newsroom, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. 58 is awfully young these days. Thank you very much, Ben.